welcome back. A uh, couple things to review from yesterday. Uh, my number one watch, BTBT. BT. We talked about that uh, afternoon breaks. Now, it did come at 11.30. Nice move when it broke um, that pre-market high. You know, that is an area we look at, especially when we're talking a hot sector stock. And, you know, let yesterday, Bitcoin did reclaim 40000 there midday. That was kind of the thesis. Um, as always, remember that and this was a point I made yesterday, understand the disconnect between Bitcoin and Bitcoin stocks. Um, anyway, nice move. Um, BVXV, I think, was, you know, for what it's worth, an incredible ignore. Um, actually, like, I'm going to talk about COCP. Uh, to me, COCP is today's BVXV. Understand what these are, etc. And then, oh, and then the other gap filler. Um, INFI we talked about. So understand, you know, you know, I know INFI went as high as 260, but this is that that concept we talked about. You know, the back when you get a bag holder chart, and when it gaps up, when it gaps up and it fills the gap, you know, that's quite frequently that's kind of like best case scenario. And again, I I get it. INFI went, you know. Went from 230 to 60, but that's not the kind of moves we're looking for. And and the, you know, if this was a you know a non bag holder type chart with that big gap down and that gap to fill, like BVXY was, pro- I mean, much better chance it could run way more than that 20 cents. Okay, so just understand that. And I know a lot of you guys are new and don't understand a lot of this technical analysis, but uh, as always, check out the Steady Trade team. I got. Two webinars today. So um, talking about my mains, T-L-R-Y, weed stock, quote, quote unquote, earnings winner. Um, kind of standard approach for me on this. I'm hoping consolidates around VWAP here through the morning and then breaks through 17. Um, that's probably number one for me right now. Uh, LG, number one VWAP hold. LG, L F L G C top. Kind of dip and rip. Again, another weed stock. They're what I like about FLGC. They're putting out a press release like every day. You know, well done. Golf clap for FLGC. Sketchy weed stock putting out a PR every day. So that's main. Well, as of eight thirty one, main dip and rip. And then NAOV is in full squeeze mode. Idiots are stuck. Four million float. Holding up, I mean, this is, I mean, like, it's still, you know, this is that, when we talk about chart patterns, I mean, I know it ran as high as 380, but, I mean, this thing closed at a 52-week high if you, if you, you know, quote, unquote, subtract that big first green day, uh, you know, and, and the reason I say it closed at a 52-week high yesterday, though it didn't, understand, again, all the people that got trapped in these big runs, you know, back in September, December, January. I mean, look at all these one and dones. Well, everyone that got col- quote unquote collected on those, okay. So every bag that held in the and these one and dones, you know, they're still green right here because I mean, it's it's basically if you're dumb enough. No offense, I love each and every one of you. You know. I'm Mr. Positivity. I love each and every single one of you. But just because I love you doesn't mean you can't be dumb, okay? If you're dumb enough to hold NAOV long term, you're green. You know, anybody that bought, other than two days ago, anybody that bought in the previous 11 months and, you know, 28 days is green and shorts are stuck. So 100% dip and rip and afternoon VWAP hold and then COCP would be the one I would tell you probably be the most cautious with kind of feels like this really kind of feels like BVXV why why does it feel like BVXE chart okay right up the bat terrible chart 80 million float and again remember these guys aren't going to do anything against COVID or you know the Delta variant. I mean, they're a they're a one dollar stock. They will accomplish nothing. It's not a house, is it? No. Okay. Whew. Oh, for a second I thought it was a house. Anyway. So anyway, 
Hey, it's a dip and rip if the volume's there, if the chat pump is there, but I don't like the chart. Nobody cares about pen, penny stock virus plays anymore and 80 million float. All right. Nicholas says, INFI, weak open red to green. Eh, again. Nicholas, I kind of already talked about it. I know there's a little bit of a delay on YouTube, but I mean, look at what you got ahead of you. So, Nicholas, I, all I see on INFI, or INFI, resistance at 250, 260, 270, 275, 280. I mean, I mean, you're this is what you got, this is what you got to deal with. If you're bullish this stock, that brick wall of resistance is what you got to deal with. And I just think there's better out there. So, sorry. Sorry, but the the it's not I didn't I didn't draw this chart, okay? <laughs> you know, price action, buyers, sellers, the market drew this chart. All I can do is tell you what I see screaming at me, and it's six months of resistance. Brian asked about H-A-L-B. Helm. It's an OTC. Close at the high of day. Standard approach, you know. Um, here we go. What are, what are the three things I'm always going to say on an OTC that closed at the high of the day? Had a nice run yesterday. If you took the gap, sell the gap. Okay, don't get greedy. Look for if you're not in this, look for a morning panic dip buy or an afternoon OTC swizzle. I remember the olden days. I'm getting I'm getting soft in my old age. I remember when I used to get mad when people would ask about OTCs in pre-market. You know, it's a, but I'm I'm get I'm getting soft now that now that I just celebrated my 67th birthday. I'm getting soft. SNDL is a weed stock, um, so it's in play. Terrible chart. I just think TLRY has a better chart, and FLGC is pumping out daily press releases. So that's my opinion. If you're looking, <clears throat> if you're look, <clears throat> if you're looking for weed stocks, I think there's better than SNDL. So, uh, what about SPRT? Nice squeeze after our well or into the close last night. So remember SPRT we talked about yesterday morning on that break of nine. You see what happens when these key levels break. Now, SPRT, very choppy. But remember, you can go back. You can watch yesterday's videos. I said, keep an eye on this if it breaks nine. When it broke nine, went all the way up to 10 pretty immediately, but then failed hard, slammed back hard. Uh, possible red to green, but it's a mediocre red to green because... You know, it failed to hold, you know. So understand what's a good red to green on a stock at 52-week highs that spiked into the close. So so SPRT did the right thing yesterday. Yesterday, well done. You know, it closed at a 52. It ran into the close. That's exactly what you want for a week open red to green. But the problem is, you know, it's got a hold near the highs, you know, it crashed after hours from 10 down to, you know, eight in the low eights into the 8 p.m. close, then gaps down this morning. So make, that makes sense. You guys understand what a, what we look for in a week open red to green? I mean, I mean, at, at 4.05 p.m. yesterday, at 4.05 p.m., if you would have been, hey, Tim, what do you think about a week open red to green tomorrow on SPRT? I'd be like, heck yeah. Yeah. But then after hours comes, pre-market comes. And so so understand the setups. Maybe check out the ebook. It's a great way to learn this stuff. But I'm gonna say SPRT mediocre week open red to green. By the way, welcome back, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole, for being back today. Uh Acer, low float, decent volume. Acer. Afternoon view app hold, but it's a it's another crappy biotech. Man, listen, that's your, it's it's interesting. What is going on in the world? Why is everybody so infatuated with crappy biotechs? We got weed stocks, we got crypto stocks, you know, high float crappy biotechs. 
Strange. Strange times, my friends. Mediocre. DWAP hold. Crap chart. Um, I already talked about FLGC. DRV. Get some. DRV. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. 3X ETFs are not designed for you guys. Okay. Here's our here we haven't talked about this in a while. 3X ETFs are for hedge funds, big investors in to, to hedge risk, okay? These things aren't designed for you. Particularly a 3X ETF that trades like 50,000 shares a day, okay? Um I know. I know what's happening, okay? I know why I get asked about these 3X ETFs. And you'll see this all the time. And the reason I did the face palm is I've, I see this over and over and over again. Sketchy weirdos on Twitter and now like Discord and stuff. Listen, penny stocks have been slower this week. Okay. No doubt. It's been a slower week. We're going into August. It's earning season. Okay. I said this Monday. I said it's not unusual during normal times for penny stocks to slow down in August, particularly during earnings season. So the reason I bring up that point is the weirdos on Twitter, they got to have something to always be generating more followers because they burn all their followers, okay? They give them terrible trade ideas. They all blow up because most of these guys are on the short side, okay? 90% of FinTwit is guys on the short side that need you, okay, to get bagged because this is what they do. And this is what no one ever talks about, okay? The reason the majority of the sketchy weirdos on Twitter are short biased is they they tell you, the newbie, to short some low float stock and they're buying it. Because okay? they know what you're going to do. They and, the, and then you get squeezed and they sell and then the stock collapses later in the day and then they're like, I told you so. It's like... <clears throat> Anyway, and what happens when penny stocks slow down is they start talking about the VIX ETFs and the, the DRV real estate 3X shit. So understand, my friends, I want what's best for you, okay? I'm giving you everything I got, the best advice I can give. I'm not on here pumping some stock, okay? I typically give you my number one watch, but it's not like I'm sitting here, oh, this is you need to buy the, uh, no, I just, you guys like it when I explain my top watches, you like, I get the comments, when I don't talk about the number one, you're like, hey, we like that to learn from, but understand everyone that has an agenda, except for me, until I get into Congress, once I'm in Congress, then I have an agenda, and that is to bilk the American people for as much money as possible, but that's when I get into Congress, okay, I will, I will make that shift, so understand Please avoid 3X ETFs. Please avoid sketchy weirdos on Twitter and Discord. And share with your friends. I really feel like I'm giving you solid information that you can use to learn and grow from. So, all right. Remember that today. When some weirdo with like a cartoon character and some crazy name like Wonky Stocks 69 is talking about some 3X ETF remember what uncle tim said so all right my friends have a good day webinar tonight 8 p.m eastern talking about i think the best way to battle inflation i think the best way to battle inflation is with a swing trade process methodology we're going to be talking about that tonight 8 p.m eastern and have a great day and please don't trade 3x etfs on a slow day please 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 please